from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, October 2nd. Okay, so welcome to the new moon solar eclipse in Libra day. This is the main event. We are definitely wasting no time coming into the month. And of course, with this eclipse event, we are now going to be settling into this new karmic hand in which we are currently being dealt. So if you're feeling a little bit cray cray, if you're feeling the aches and pains, if you feel like you're losing your damn mind, I'm going to encourage you to take a listen to the Ascension forecast for this week and you understand where the energy is actually manifesting in the physical form due to particularly this eclipse. And of course, there is a whole astro forecast out there for this particular moon event. I'm going to encourage you to download your moon guide. And if you're really interested in figuring out where these particular events are kind of stirring the pot in your life, there is an astro class for this particular eclipse edition as well. So the moon is in Libra energy here all day. We are going to pop off at 10 degrees in this Libra energy. This is where the eclipse event is taking place. And we are going to be full stop in the peak of that energy. 2.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be under the full eclipse event. With that being said, there are a lot of aspects, positive aspects taking place under this event, especially at that key moment that we are popping off in its peak potency. You can find all of those particular aspects in the moon guide or in the astro class. And the day, of course, has its own aspects building up to and post that peak energy. And so when we consider all of the aspects that are taking place throughout the day, there are seven of them, six of them are going to be involving the moon. So the moon in this Libra energy, of course, is going to directly oppose and also sit on top of the nodes of the moon that are responsible for these eclipse events. The moon sitting on top of the south node in Libra is pulling us back to what is tried, tested, true, comfortable, what it is that we've grown out of, what it is that we've put behind us, what it is that we've healed from. There is this certain pull back. That south node in Libra, of course, is what we've already perfected. It's what we're trying to get away from. And the north node in Aries is what we need to kind of get ourselves closer to, which is more independence being alone, getting to know thyself so that we can heal thyself so that we can figure out who it is that we actually are in our most authentic self. Emotionally speaking, there is this pull, that's what an opposition is, in order for us to strike a balance, doing what we need to do for ourselves, again, fulfilling our own wants, needs, and desires list, while still honoring the commitments that we have made to other people. So the whole day is going to be a wackadoodle energy, it starts off with this particular aspect, again, really intensifying the tension and the conflict that we are feeling, the pull back to the past, the pull into the future. And of course, we don't know which way we're going because we're being eclipsed from the full picture, from the full truth, from the plan, the strategy, the direction to actually move on and move forward. 2.50 p.m., the moon is going to come up to bump into team up with the sun, of course, in Libra energy. This is what gives us our new moon. A conjunction is a reset. That's what a new moon is. It's just as much of an ending as it is a beginning. But because this is a solar eclipse, it is a new moon on steroids. And of course, if you listen to that astro forecast, if you downloaded your moon guide or even took part in the astro class, you would know that Mercury is a major factor with this particular moon and sun event. We have the moon coming up to bumping into conjuncting Mercury at 622 p.m. So the trio, the sun, the moon and Mercury, they are kind of working together in this Libra energy in order for us to, again, be planning and strategizing and weighing the pros and cons and really kind of exploring different options and opportunities. The moon and Mercury conjunct means that our heart and our head are coming into alignment may take us a little bit of a moment to figure out the pop-offs, the downloads, the epiphanies, the aha moments that we're actually receiving from this particular energy event. But nonetheless, we are moving into a new mental cycle where ideas, creativity, and solutions are concerned. The moon is going to make an awkward interaction with Uranus, the Great Awakener, who is retrograde in Taurus energy. 
this is definitely going to have us kind of feeling a little bit jittery because Uranus rules over the central nervous system. We're in a new moon phase. This is an eclipse. If you can go through the whole day without having some sort of anxiety, then you are definitely mastering that particular energy. The anxiety, the jitteriness, the restlessness, the ants in our pants, those are all very connected to this energy that is building, reaching its peak, and then again, helping us shift our perspective, our mind state, our emotional situation into solutions instead of focusing in on the problems and on the issues. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, the ruler over Libra season, the ruler over this particular moon event, who of course is in Scorpio energy, doing the hard work, doing the shadow work, really getting into that heart space, understanding what needs to die, what needs to end, what needs to grow, what needs a new beginning. We're trying to figure out our happiness, our joy, our safety, our security. We're taking a good look around at the realm and reality that the old version of self has created. And we're trying to figure out what this new version wants and the adjustments needed in our physical realms in order to mirror back what it is that we're already arriving at in our inner realm. The one aspect that does not involve the moon here today is Mercury and Uranus. Now, this is an interesting dynamic. Mercury, of course, ruler of the mental plane. And in this Libra energy, we're trying to see all sides of the coin. We're trying to see everything from all different angles in order for us to make an informed decision. But of course, in Libra energy, nobody's making any decisions about anything. We have Uranus, the great awakener, who is retrograde in the Taurus energy. But here's why I find it interesting. Uranus rules over the higher octave of our mental plane. It connects us with the higher realms of intelligence. Mercury rules the lower level of our intellect that brings information in from our current situation, our current circumstances. That's how we form thoughts, opinions, and ideas. So we have the higher mind and the lower mind working together in order to problem solve, especially because Uranus is retrograde in Taurus energy, problem solve where it is that we're too attached to the past what we're still holding on to, what we're still resisting the change of, where it is that we're failing to implement the improvements that we know damn well are very much needed. So again, a lot of pressure in the headspace, a lot of pressure kind of, you know, amplifying the jitteriness, if you will. Indecision is a thing. However, we are exploring new perspectives, new insights, new ideas, new, I'm going to say, options that we haven't considered up until this particular point. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon making a very harsh aspect with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. So again, the moon guide, that astro forecast, that astro class going to illuminate to you the, I'm going to call it the part, the role, if you will, that Mr. Saturn is playing underneath this particular moon event. But emotionally speaking, we are at odds. We're getting a little bit of a serious and somber reality check, which of course is never fun kind of burst our bubble, brings us back down to earth. We're definitely going to dabble in the darkness towards the end of the day. We, again, reminder, the sleeper energy is about finding the sweet spot amongst the extremes that those scales definitely tip us in. So emotionally speaking, we are trying to find that sweet spot, but we find ourselves in the darkness. We do find ourselves feeling the weight of the world on our shoulders in order to figure the plan out, to figure out the strategy, if you will. We are really wrecking our brains, trying to figure out what we need to build and create from here. But the problem is, is of course, this is an eclipse. We're being eclipsed from the information, from the details, from the truth, from the perspective, from the plan, from the direction, from the options and opportunities that we actually have to move on and move forward.